thank you very much for your kind introduction. Uh, I'll talk about the integration of multiple view plus depth data for free viewpoint 3D display. This is the contents of my, uh, contents of my presentation. First, I'll talk about the background. Next, I'll explain structure of multiple view plus depth integration system. Then, I'll present some experimental results. Finally, I will conclude my presentation. In MPEN meeting, standardization activity for 3D video is progressing. New 3D standardization activity targeting super multi view and free navigation applications for free viewpoint television, FTB, has been started in last year. Here, FTB is a framework that allows viewing of a 3D world by freely changing the viewpoint. Super multi-view 3D displays are emerging widely anticipated as the next generation of autoscopic display. Several types of displays are currently being developed by companies, research institutes, and universities. One of the use cases of super multi-view public viewing of sport events, such as Olympic Games and World Cups. However, the amount of the whole 3D, con 3D content is very huge. So a uh, full chain of capturing, capturing, transmission, and display is required for realizing such a use cases. We, Nagoya University and Chukyo Television, are also studying such a full chain system, cooperate with some universities and companies. Nagoya University and Chukyo Television developed a reduced version of a full chain system that has the following functions capturing multiple views plus depth data using Microsoft Kinect sensors, reconstructing 3D polygon models by integra integrating those data, and importing 3D models to 3D graphical applications. In particular, uh, the second one is the most important theme of my presentation. Next, I'll explain structure of multiple view plus depth integration system. This is an overview of multi view and depth data integration system. First step is capturing multiple view plus depth data. Second step is estimating camera parameters by camera calibration. Third step is improving quality of depth maps. Fourth step is integrating multiple view plus depth data into single point cloud data. Fifth step is surface reconstruction for integrated point cloud data. And the final step is importing 3D model data to 3D graphical applications. This figure shows a multiple view and depth data ca capturing system. Equipment for capturing consists of one desk desktop PC and four Microsoft Kinect sensors. Each sensors are directly connected to USB port of the PC. Camera 1 and camera 4 face to each other, and camera 2 and camera 3 are three also face to each other. Distance between two cameras is about 5.0 meter, and two pairs of cameras uh, intersect uh, at the right angles. This is an example of captured view plus depth data at few boy, uh, four viewpoints. Already in the center of this image is target object. These four views are captured by four cameras. Lower images denote a depth map of left view front view, uh, rear view, and right view, respectively. For integrating multi view plus depth data, intrinsic and extrinsic camera parameters need 
need to be estimated. We have done camera calibration by using chessboard pattern. This is a picture of uh, our experimental environment. Two cameras, one PC, and one calibration chart is, uh, are in this picture. Other two cameras are on the other side of the calibration chart. Next, uh, improving depth map. Low depth maps captured by Kinect sensor may include many holes. Uh, for example, uh, there are some uh, holes in a part of head. And lack of depth information of object affects the quality of reconstructed 3D models. Therefore, we introduced a simple in-painting method by using color image segmentation. First, input color images are segmented into, uh, divided into segments. Uh, according to their colors. This is an enlargement of the area uh, about uh, head. Uh, according to this uh, seg segment information, uh, depth values uh, at the edge of holes are copied horizontally uh, existing depth values are horizontally copied to whole, uh, whole pixels in the same segment. Next, uh, view plus depth at four viewpoints are integrated into single point cloud data by the following procedure. Let UV be pixel position and let be uh, let duv be the depth value at uv. If depth value is not equal to zero, pixel position uv is projected to 3D position x, y, z by using perspective proje projection matrix, that is, uh, product of camera intrinsic and extrinsic parameters. This is an example of integrated point cloud data. A target object in the center of this image. Next, uh, volume, volume data is constructed from discrete point cloud data. A certain size of rectangular parallel piped this shape that contains target object is ex extracted from point cloud data. Then, positions of 3D points are sampled to those of a group of points with a certain interval. Sampled points are considered to be the center of voxels. Here, red circle is, is the sampled 3D points, and this point is the center of this voxel. And sampling interval of point data, that is, the distance between adjacent these two points is equal to edge length of voxel. Uh, converted volume data is uh, uh, very sparse. Uh, this figure shows horizontal section of sparse volume data. White pixels denote box, uh, voxels filled with sampled point cloud data. For spanning surfaces on volume data, inside of voxel of object has to be filled. So uh, filling inside of object by area division. And this is the result of uh, filling. And uh, this shows the dense volume data. Applying discrete mat matching cubes method to this uh, dense volume data, uh, 3D polygon model is 
obtained. This is an example of ob uh, obtained 3D model. Upper four images are input 2D color images, and uh, the lower, lower four images denote uh, left view, front view, rear view, and right view of uh, reconstructed 3D model. But this model does not uh, any color information. Uh, projecting color information from 2D images to uh, 3D models, uh, textured 3D model is obtained. And re reconstructed 3D models, uh, information of reconstructed 3D models are saved into these three uh, files. One of them is wavefront object file format. This file contains 3D vertex positions x, y, z, and 2D texture image pixel positions uh, u, v. But uh, this position is regularized by uh, the widest and height of image. Furthermore, normal vector information is included. And the relationships between the above these data are contained. Second is material file. Uh, this file may include ambient, diffuse, specular, transparency information, and the file name of 2D texture. This texture file is one, uh, because four views are combined into one file. Uh, as the final step, reconstructed 3D model is imported to 3D graphical applications. This image shows a 3D CD soccer stadium constructed on Unity 3D game developer. Geometrical information of Im imported 3D models are transformed into those of co coordinate system of 3D CG world. Next, I present some experimental results. As shown in the uh, previous chapter, these three images uh, denote point cloud data, reconstructed model without uh, text data, and reconstructed reconstru model with texture data. I'll present uh, another e example. This is a uh, scene that uh, young guy lifting, uh, young guy is lifting soccer ball. From these images and uh, corresponding depth maps, this uh, object is reconstructed. And this image shows that uh, shows the combination of 3D CG soccer field and reconstructed 3D model of soccer player. Uh, we exhibit our experimental results on symposium demonstration session in this evening. You can check 3D models displayed on head-mounted display. So I conclude my presentation. In this presentation, a full chain system that captures multiple view plus depth data uh, reconstructs 3D models and imports them to 3D applications was proposed. In addition, a method for integrating multiple view plus depth data and thus for impainting some parts of the uh, object in depth maps are also provided. Thank you for your attention.